What's going on, YouTube? This is your friendly neighborhood DraftKings addict, bringing my top picks for Thursday's main NBA DFS slate. Okay, guys, let's start off by getting the homework out the way. Please like the video, drop any comments below on the picks, and please, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe so that way you don't miss a video. I'm putting out a video every day of the NBA slate. All right, so let's go ahead and chop it up, guys. So, picks from yesterday were fire. Anthony Davis went off for 74 DraftKings points, I believe. Um, too bad it was overshadowed by Hawaii, uh, Whiteside, man. Dude went off for 29 points, 20 rebounds, and nine block shots. That was ridiculous. Didn't even have him on my radar, man. But, man, he he went off and showed off. But uh, shout out to Hassan Whiteside. But super, he was super low on, so it didn't hurt me too much. <laughs> so, um, anywho, so let's go ahead and break down today's ginormous slate. We have a whole four games, guys. So, you know how I feel about four game slates, but we're going to chop it up anyway, man. So, position optimizer of draft dashboard software I use for my research. Got a link in the description of this video. 30 day trial for one buck. Give it a shout. Straight up, point guard, James Harden. Can't pay up for, for Curry. But Harden seems too cheap. I know Curry has a matchup versus Milwaukee. And uh, Draymond Green has already been ruled out. So that means that, you know, there should be some um, uptick in usage for Curry and and Clay Thompson and all the other uh, big three of um, Golden State. But I like James Harden in this matchup versus his old team, the Oklahoma City Thunders, man, without Russell Westbrook. So I like him at 10K. It almost seems criminally too cheap on this slate to get James Harden at 10K. The guy can put up 65, 75 DraftKings points, no problem. So, um, he could have it popping, man. And so, again, I like me some James Harden at 10K. Dame Lillard, I took a look at him, man. Uh, he, he, he he looks nice, but just about just for $1,000 more, I can get James Harden with higher upside and, and, and a higher usage. So, uh, me personally, I'm going with James Harden. Chris Paul, I'm not interested. All right, AK. He has to play behind or with James Harden. You know, he could go off for 45, 50 DraftKings points, but that's that's rare. So, um, but Kyrie Irving, man, I do like him, man. I think dude's going to play angry. He's still a little upset about losing that Denver game and uh, the whole shenanigans that went down with him and Murray. So, um, I like this bounce back spot, a plus, 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 plus matchup versus Phoenix. All right, so I like Kyrie in this, in this matchup, guys. AK, I like him. Get him in your lineups. Dennis Schroeder. Should be a good pick with uh, Russell Westbrook being out. But his price went up. He gets a tough Houston defense. Probably going to be guarded by Chris Paul. No, thank you. But um, you can play him, but I, I'm not playing uh, short air tomorrow. All right, you got C.J. McCollum. I like him, man. He's been on a little bit of a heater here lately, and he's still only 6, 6K. He gets a matchup versus the Clippers. But, um, you know, C.J. has some history versus the Clippers, and he's done well. Um, so I like him at $6,000. He's a lot cheaper than... The other guy at guard on that team, A.K. Dame Lillard. All right, Lou Williams, I like him to come off the bench, 6K. Probably going to have to pay a lot of minutes to keep up with the uh, Portland Trailblazers um, as far as scoring goes. And so I do like Lou Williams coming off the bench, playing 20-plus minutes and averaging at least 30 or more DraftKings points for the last three games. I like that from a guy that's 6K. All right, but if you want to save some dollars, guys, Marcus Smart is your guy. He's playing 20-plus minutes. This guy does a lot. Outside of scoring, as far as rebounding, assisting, steals, block shots. So at 3.7K, to be honest, man, when I saw him at that price, I'm thinking, okay, was that a mistake by DraftKings? But as you can see on FanDuel, he's a thousand, $1,100 more expensive. So I do like Marcus Smart as a value play if you need to save some salary. Um, Devin Booker, I like him at home. We get the, the Boston discount. Um in DraftKings, when certain teams uh, play against a certain team that has a, a good defense, the prices uh, adjust for it. But I like Devin Booker anyway, man. If you look at his history versus Boston, he's done well versus Boston. And he's playing in front of the home crowd at 7.6K. Again, he just looks too cheap to me. Eric Bledsoe, 5.7K. Going to play 30-plus minutes versus this Golden State Warrior team. They're going to need all the scoring they can get to keep up with Golden State. So I do like... Bledsoe at this price at 5.7K. Okay, guys, I know he hadn't played well the last couple of games, but he's only 5.7K, man. If he puts up 35, 40 DraftKings points, 
Um, you know, hey, that's that's very good value at 5.7K. Eric Gordon, I think, is still out. Uh, he missed the prior two games with an abductor strain. Um, so we don't know if he's going to play or not, but keep an eye on the news for that. Um, ooh, Bar- Bar- Brogdon, he could be a good play. At only 4.5K, he's, he's averaging around 27 draft uh, uh, points. Not points. 27 minutes the last couple of games. And they're probably going to need him on the floor to kind of run around and chase Curry. And, and um, he could be a good play, man. A good value. But I'm going to go ahead and add him to my list, man. He's right here, okay? Isaiah Cannon, no thank you. Pat Beverly, again, is Portland team. Pat Ver- Beverly's going to get all the minutes he can handle. And at 3.8K, I like him as a punt. As far as, you know, a uh, uh, point guard goes for a value play, um, Patrick Beverly. As you can see, the last game he put up 25 DraftKings points, and he played 38 minutes. All right, he could end up playing 40. He could end up playing the whole game uh, versus Portland. But, uh, yeah, I definitely like some Pat Beverly as a possibility as one of my value plays at point guard. So shooting guard, some of the players, you're going to see the same players, guys, like um, Harden, McCullough, Clay Thompson, Lou Will, all righty. So um, one of the players that was not mentioned is going to be, oh, no, that's all the same players. All right, so never mind. We already got our shooting guards, guys. So next up, small forward. Of course, you got to consider Giannis, but I'm going to be honest, guys. I'm probably not going to have any Giannis um, because, again, he's 11K, and I like Harden better in this matchup. Yeah, Draymond Green is not playing this game, so that could mean a – uptick for Giannis man he just seemed too expensive but um I'm definitely putting him in my player pool because he is Giannis you know he could easily go off for 70 DraftKings points on this team and so um definitely like some Giannis matter of fact who's gonna hold him on that team I guess Kevin Durant will probably get the assignment now with Draymond Green being out but um yeah I don't know man just just know I don't love Giannis but I gotta mention him because it's a four game slate and he's one of the the uh, the, the, the players on this uh Slate that could put up 70 DraftKings points. All right, Tobias Harris, I like his matchup versus Portland. As you can see, it's a plus matchup for the position. His dash rank is 93, and he's putting up 40-plus points uh, two out of the last three games, playing over 30 minutes. And, again, it's going to need all the scoring we can get versus Portland. So I do like Tobias in this matchup and his, at his price. You guys already know I love Jason Tatum, so, you know, we're not going to talk too much about him. But he's 6.4K, playing 30-plus minutes. Sign me up. Versus Phoenix. Should be should be a good night for Jason Tatum. All right, so to scroll down, uh, you could play Jerry and, Jeremy Grant versus Houston. Again, with Westbrook out, he should get a lot of minutes. He'll probably end up putting up a lot more shots than he's normally used to putting up and getting rebounds and assists. So Jeremy Grant is somebody you could consider, but I don't have him in my player pool. Also, Jalen Brown. But I remember he was dealing with a foot injury, but I think he's okay now. But Jalen Brown is somebody that we definitely could add to our player pool at 4.8K versus Phoenix. You know, that could be a good game um, where Jalen Brown puts up 35 DraftKings points. And at 4.8K, that's a good deal. That's a steal, actually. All right, Alfarika Minu, my favorite value forward on the slate by far. All righty, so don't be surprised this guy puts up 35, almost 40 DraftKings points. And at 4.7K, that's 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 lovely. So I like Africa Minu in this spot. Trevor Reza, just a, just a little punt play again. Looking at the history versus uh, Boston, Trevor Reza has done well, and of course we get the discount because of the matchup. And if you look at the last three games with four games with Trevor Reza, he's averaging somewhere around twenty seven to twenty nine DraftKings points a game. So I like that for a guy that's four point six K versus Boston. Again, they're gonna need him to play all the minutes he can play because their other forwards. Or garbage Josh Jackson. Don't know what his problem is. You know. So um get you get you some reason, man. Too cheap. Um Alfonso McKinney. Now I like this guy to step up in the absence of Draymond Green. If you guys follow me on Twitter, you know I played this guy a couple of slates ago when he was me and salary. And um he came off the bench and uh put up twenty two DraftKings points. And so to get a guy at men's salary and he put up twenty two DraftKings points. That's a good salary saver right there. Gary Clark, another guy that I've been liking to play at value. If you see the last two games, Gary Clark has played 20-plus minutes and put up 23-plus DraftKings points. Again, I know this doesn't look, does not look like a good matchup for him, but it's OKC without Westbrook. Should be a good game. They're playing on the second night of a back-to-back. 
So I like Gary Clark to come off the bench, bust a couple threes, get a couple rebounds, and um, you know, make value at a player with that's on a three point six K. So alrighty. So power forward. Some of these players are gonna be in the power forward list as well. So um Al Horford though. I like this guy. Again, that Boston Phoenix game is probably one of my favorite games on the slate, right? Go figure. Because it's one of the highest scoring games. All right. But, yeah, I like I like uh, Al Horford. Again, if you look at his history versus uh, Phoenix and plus bigs, you know, versus Phoenix is a good good matchup for him. So, I do like Al Horford to have to uh, put up some extra points and do a little bit extra in this particular game to keep up with this Phoenix offense. So, 6.3K, give me some, give me some Al Horford. Montrez Harrell come off the bench in that Portland game. I like his chances. Again, you know, if you look at the history versus Portland, Montrez Harrell has fared, fared well against them. And so I definitely uh, want to go ahead and continue to ride that stride. As you can see, he's uh, in a position where they're ranked 20th versus the uh, the position. So they're not defending that position that well. Power forward slash center. Scroll down a little further, guys. We already talked about Aminu and Ariza McKenzie, Gary Clark. Rashad Holmes was somebody I was thinking about, guys. Last game, he played 17 minutes and put up 32. But I don't know if I see that happening again. But just to kind of put it out there, I, I was looking at Rashad Holmes. All righty, so that's it for Power Forward. And last but not least, at our center position, at the top of the list, we like us some Nurkic. All right, 6.6K going up against the Clippers. And again, if you check his record versus the Clippers, he has also fared well. He should be good for 35 plus DraftKings points in this matchup. And so give me some Nurkic. Brooke Lopez is somebody that has done well before against Golden State. But again, I don't know, man. Definitely a GPP play, man. Because this guy's 4.4K, playing around 25 to 30 minutes. He likes to shoot the outside ball. Um, if that shot started dropping like it did last game, he could put up 30 DraftKings points for you. But I wouldn't count on it. But Lopez is somebody that I did look at. DeAndre Aiden. Like this kid, I'm gonna play him just like I said with um Carter Jr. Um, you know, Wendell Carter. Um, you know, until this guy is over 7.5k, I'm, I'm still playing him because he's, he's such a good matchup. He's playing 30 plus minutes, has a floor of around 35 DraftKings points, and at 6.8k, I, I, I can give me some of that. Why did Steven Adams' price go down? I have no clue, but Steven Adams is in a good matchup versus Houston, man. I know it doesn't look well over here on this side, but. Steven Adams, again, has played well versus Houston before, and so definitely give me some of that. Boban, point per minute guy. If he gets the minutes, he's going to put up the points in that 5.4K. He's almost overpriced, not overpriced, but priced outside of a good value, but he still could be a good play um, because, again, Boban um, is a point per minute monster. If he plays 25 plus minutes, he could put up 35 or 40 DraftKings points, which is great for a guy that's 5.4K. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. Four-game slate, not a whole lot. Again, drop a comment below if there's any players that you are in love with that I did not mention. And um, thank you guys for all the love. Again, please like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And uh, good luck on tomorrow's slate, and I'll holler at you guys tomorrow.